Yo, what's going on with it once again? People, humanity, rose women, fanboys and fangirls, and as always, when tacos and inky communities out there, this is Mr. Nintendo Sony Freak 2011, aka Manny Wolverine. Of course, you guys know the rest of the intros and outros towards the channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all that other good stuff if you want to. And before I begin, <laughs> I don't think I, they gave me their real names, but when I was talking to them and having a conversation with them, just at this park down here, it's, you guys probably can't see, but it's around there somewhere. But um, <laughs> it's the first time I go to this one, too. I'm going to be on my way to taking a bus in about maybe 10, 20 minutes. So this is actually going to be two separate videos, but I'm just going to mash them up into one. So any people play Pokemon Go like I do, <laughs> which I'm sure most of you have. Holy crap. <laughs> Today, I actually got one. I didn't get a shiny one, unfortunately. And the words of Zoe 2, I was like, holy doodly. <laughs> This Australian trip. Oh, and shout out to the two people before I do um, keep going on. I don't know what they were. They're really, really cool people. Um, we talked a lot about his stuff. Mainly one of them out of the two were talking. I mean, I'm not trying to disrespect the other girl or anything because, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> um, one had a really, really cool Alolan Pokemon, not Pokemon Go hat, but like from Generation 7. It's the Alola region, the one I asked catching marks. And the other one had like a Pikachu hat and like a Pikachu like plushie. And I, I forgot to tell you, if you're watching this video, <laughs> you had a really, really cool badass looking sound of the Hedgehog um, lanyard. I appreciate that a lot. Randy, yep, Knuckles and um, <laughs> Knuckles and um, Shadow are my two favorite Sonic the Hedgehog um, characters, to be honest with you. you know, TBH. <laughs> but yeah, um, other than that, yeah, shout out to them. I had a really cool conversation with them. Uh, we were real big Dragon Ball Z fans. Vegeta and Trunks, I actually told her Vegeta and Trunks are my favorite all-time Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super characters. So there's that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, big shout out to them, man, honestly. Really, really cool 10, 20 minute conversation. I actually have my Meltan box open too. Um, they were really interested to see the Eevee. Unfortunately, it was like the, the normal non-shiny Eevee that had the crown, the flower crown on it. I really want to get the Pikachu one a lot more. So I can evolve it into Raichu. Raichu, I forgot to tell them you guys are watching this video i forgot to tell you guys that raichu is one of my all-time favorite top 10 lolan not lolan kento pokemon from generation one and it is what it is hey she even brought up aki dearest so i'm not like the only one that knows who aki dearest is it was really really cool to that i thank you very much you know having to chat it up with me and all that stuff <laughs> i told him about my youtube channel my instagram and twitter so hey it is what it is <laughs> Hopefully you stick around the long run. They even follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And I let them know I have that too, my IG and all that. But without further ado, let's really be honest. It says Pokemon Go Day arrives and Pokemon Go Safari, or excuse me, February 26th through 28th. Featuring Shiny Rattata and Shiny Equalis. Hold on. Alright, I can talk again. So really 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 super quick um update here because for the past three hours i've been trying to look for shiny pidgey and shiny rattata so far no luck it's not zero shinies i don't know what it is i'm really hoping to god that my antic didn't shiny ban me I'm really hoping darcy's god that crap did not happen aside from that <laughs> yeah let's run run into this let's read the article so it says on february 25th niantic 2019, Niantic announced that Pokemon Go Day will be having special events for Pokemon Go Day. Kento Pokemon will be <laughs> more available in the wild. Kento Pokemon will be in raids, Flower Crown Pikachu and Eevee release, Shiny Rattata and Pidgey, which I unfortunately, so far, by the time of me recording this video, I haven't gotten any. So I'm probably going to go out tomorrow, because usually I do it Tuesdays and Saturdays. Wednesdays I might do Wednesday and Thursday. Once in a while, in a while is tomorrow. If you're wondering why I don't have, like, the phone flip like this instead of in portrait mode actually no in the widescreen mode instead of portrait mode because i'm too lazy and shit to do it <laughs> fuck man so there you go there, you go, there. i really you're still really really i'm truly hopefully i'm having my fingers crossed to the t right now and i get a shiny even so i can keep it for leafy on shiny i already got one one of the evolutions that i have well not evolutions but one of the normal shine not normal it is normal if i can get my words right <laughs> One of the Eevees, and I have is a shiny one. It's like the last shiny that I got left. I named it Icy Jack Daxter. <laughs> and the Jack, Dak and, Jack and Daxter game from the PS2 era. And a little bit, I think, in the PS3 era, too. Correct me if I'm wrong or not. 
but yeah, there's that. So, um, oh my god, I'm really, really hoping to God I haven't able to evolve into shiny glacium. I'm really hoping it's not shiny locked yet. And if it is, that's that's gonna be a major hit in the balls if you catch my drift. So it says, yeah, see below for full announcement. All right, you guys gonna read that whole thing in your own. There's, uh, there's actually, if any guys have your Pokemon Go accounts, this is the first thing that it shows. And um, let's get a little bit more serious, unfortunate news. Oh yeah, there was this too right here. The Pokemon fan actually um, <laughs> actually punched a freaking police officer in Japan. So you guys can read that article right here if you guys want to. I actually did a whole separate video on it. Except I wasn't showing my face at the time. Let's get into a little bit more unfortunate news. Oh man, to the people that actually did see at the park, hopefully you guys, if you're watching this, I don't always cover really negative news all the time. I do it maybe once a week, but not all the freaking time. I try to keep it positive eyes on my channel. So it says, anime voice actor Vic Magnana accused of sexual harassment. It's pretty messed up, but it's true. I'm only going to read the second bottom half of this because I already read this one before. I'm going to keep going down a little bit. Wamignana, because that one was from about three weeks ago. This is kind of old news already. It's still kind of relevant. It's even crazy because it's almost the same thing as like Jesse Smollett, but <laughs> God, we are not going into that topic. So that's not what I talk about in this channel. This is Wamignana. Mignana, Mignana. It's real, real famous for doing a couple of anime series, especially when it came to the Dragon Ball Z Broly movie. Um, along with what else? The Ruby series for Michibi. Which, by the way, Yang and Weiss, not Yang, Weiss and Blake Belladonna, all time, they straight up own, I love them, best wife and tricks ever, <laughs> so uh, let's keep it moving, yeah. acknowledges, acknowledges these events and others, he consistently argues that each of these encounters were consensual in nature, nevertheless, the emergence in their stories, while spoiled in two decades, has cost the fallen voice actor with some of his biggest roles and almost some of his scheduled appearances. Hopefully you guys can hear me with this loud wind, because I apologize if you can't. Uh, what else to say? Conventions in 2019 have been canceled. While the hashtag MeToo movement has made a strong impression in Hollywood and has forced an environment in which accusers like Mignana can relate to their experiences and finally be heard, it is not clear if the anime industry's current avoidancements for Mignana will be wholesale considering the Bohemian Rhapsody director Brian Singer was still slated to direct the now delayed Red Sonia for weeks after the well-founding allegations of a sexual abuse of his blank. I'm gonna, not going to say that word because <laughs> I don't want YouTube to think it's something else. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da -da. Surface. Similarly, when the celebrities are the accusers themselves. They are often not believed by their peers and have to either bear the burden of silence. Or in the case Terry Crews to Terry Crews, take to Twitter to defend himself. All right, moving forward, it says, so far no, ah, I can't ever get that one. So far no allegations against Mr. Mignata has happened. With the status of the information of sexual assault harassments varying from the widely <clears throat> from state to state, its suits are filled against Mignana, and it's possible that he may face a few to no legal consequences besides his out of court settlements if he is told, excuse me, found guilty due to the age of his allegations, alleged crimes. However, his accusers' descriptions of his sexual misconduct are objectively revolting, and it can be hoped that even his statured or no, staunch chest fans would want the truth, no matter how ugly it comes out to be, regardless how come. All right, there's stuff about T-Series and Teespring and all that. Overall thoughts, views, and opinions, the guy's career is pretty much screwed. And even what that one dude said, I kind of agree but disagree at the same time. If any people know who uh, Mr. Jeremy Hembley is, or better known as the quartering, I mean, even another dude I used to follow years ago, name on for Neverworld, he actually changed his content a little bit. He still does talk about anime and manga series, but he talks a lot more on the negative side of it than he does on the positive side. 
he even said himself, not Jeremy Hembley, but another dude from Neverworld. I forgot his name, almost. I don't know his name for life. But, um, he even said that, like, one of the ladies that was a female voice actor said she accused him of, like, having him being, like, way too over frisky and over sexualized to a certain extent. Which is pretty fucking sad, to be honest with you. In this day and age of the hashtag MeToo movie, if you're a man, especially if you're a white male, granted, you know, I'm not white. I sound white, per se, but it's because I was raised in the United States. <laughs> but, yeah, we're not going to get into that. Um, especially if you're a white male, it's going to be a lot more harder for you. But if you're one of the minorities, especially when it comes out here in the United States, it depends where you're at. Because where I'm at, well, the area I'm in right now is kind of predominantly like, Caucasian and a few Filipinos. There's not that many like African Americans or Latinos where I'm at, but further down this way, way down over there, there's a whole bunch. Just like me. So if I am black, I'd probably be less than five percent. It's mainly when you're Puerto Rican. Not trying to get too much off topic, but to be honest, yeah. Especially if you're Dominican, you're almost automatically black and Hispanic completely. Um, but I'm probably like five percent, the other 95% is probably Hispanic Latino. Pretty much. But yeah, for as far for, as far as Vic Manana's cases, like I said before, I'll say it again. He's like he even said with the gym teacher. He's gonna have to find a whole new, completely different career, a whole other different like um, field of work, and research to get into because he's gonna have to make some other sort of different livelihood. He's gonna have to make a whole bunch of different changes on the man. So Mr. Vic Manana, uh, like I said before, I'll say it again. Like I did about a week and a half ago, maybe more, maybe less, give or take. If you happen to watch this video, <laughs> hey, you know what? Hashtag I stand with Vic, if you're still here. I don't think you did it, in my own personal opinion. You sound like a really, really cool ass guy. I remember about less than two or three years ago, I heard about this dude, like he was going against these people that were like the freaking, they kind of had that same overzealous, like too super Christianity sort of viewpoint. Which is really fucking disgusting in my own fucking, fucking personal opinion, huh? And they were like the Westboro Baptist Church type of dudes. They went way too far with shit, you know, like, I, God hates F-words, or what's it called, um, I can't say it in here now, I used to before, but not anymore, um, or like, God hates, like, certain people and all that stuff, it's, it's really messed up, because we're about to shit, just like, beat them, like, messed up organizations, are like, fucking shit, but, um, yeah, they even accused Vic Maniana, I was like, oh, you're a bad person, you're a bad person, you're a bad person, but they could have did that with anyone, not just him, they just picked his name, because he's a household name, he did the voice acting for Full Metal Alchemist, that, the Ruby series, a lot of the Dragon Ball series, I think. I think he even did a lot of Star Trek live action shows, too. And this guy is pretty fucking well known, especially in the anime um, industry. So for him to have, have his name dragged into the mud, that's really, really crazy. But that's all I gotta say for now, that's it. Um, I'm gonna go and take a break, and I am out of here, alright? That's it. With that being said, I'm gone, I'm out. I'll see you guys soon, okay? Take it easy. Oh, one more other thing. Be sure to like my Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. I just put a video on Instagram about Smeargle. Smeargle, how you can get him. I haven't shown my EV crown on Pokemon yet, but I'll probably post it on my Instagram and Twitter pretty soon. So stand on the lookout for that. And that's it. Peace out once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, fanboys, and fangirls, as always. I'm talking to Dinky Kimonis out there. I'll see you when I see you guys a day after night, wherever you are on the universe out there. I'm Jake Smoke at the same time. So it's miraculous. Stay tuned more future content on this channel, including. Article session reviews for video, video gaming industry news, anime manga news, internet news, and that wraps up the video. Take it easy, peace out, my like sauerkraut. Late saying goodbye, we'll see all of you on the flip side, okay? Take it easy, take care of yourselves, and uh, I'm out of here. We'll see how this drama unfolds, man, seriously. Not a good look for anime. It might even be the anime gate, like, um, like how it was with Gamergate and Comics Gate. See you guys soon. Peace. Goodbye.